Alright guys, I'm back home. About to get working on this thing. Pull off the tarp. Um I move this transmission out the way and I think I might start with the shifter box. I think I'll do that. just pulled off the tarp now what I'm gonna do is um, take out this uh, this um, center console and then work on taking this out of the car and then running the um, taking the shifter cable out with that and then hopefully putting the shifter box and the shifter cable right through where the, this already goes this exi the existing spot um, so I think I'm gonna do that first and then after get to the uh, the engine harness up there So now that the center console is out, kind of give you guys a closer look to what needs to happen. Alright, so just four bolts on the side of the shifter. One here, there, and then two on the other side in the same spots. Um, so that once I undo that, this whole shifter mechanism should come out. There's some plugs there I gotta undo. And then the shifter cable right here runs into, I don't know if you can tell, but right where my finger's at, there's like this rubber grommet. You gotta pop that out. And then find out where that leads to under the car. And So just looking at it right here, I see a bolt, or a nut I should say, there's a nut. I'm pretty sure looking at it, if I take that nut off, this shifter cable will slide off. And I can take this out the car and then slide the cable out from underneath the, underneath the car, or undo it from underneath the car and pull it up here either way. But that seems like uh, the best way to do that. All right, let's get this thing out of here. both of the shifter there was just two clips holding the wire harness to the box I ended those now I'm just trying to figure out how to undo this part because this is the only thing holding it in the car Thank <laughs> you. 
right, so here is where I was working at. I started by taking off this heat shield here. There was four, four uh, bolts holding that in. Then uh, there's a bracket here that holds the shifter cable. Goes right there, those two nuts. Then um, I just used my pry bar, but the handle part, and just pop that grommet up. So now, I don't know, maybe I'll see if I can throw a, throw a socket on there on the impact. Take this off so that way I can pull this whole cable up through the car. Okay, I just came from underneath the car. I was able to throw a 10 socket on there, 10 millimeter socket on the impact. Undo that, brackets off. So now I'm gonna pull this grommet up past these wires. And then I should be able to pull the whole cable out through the car. All right, here's a little side-by-side -side comparison of the shifter. Here we got the automatic shifter box and the cable. And then we got the manual shifter box with those cables. Of course this looks nicer because you would see this inside the car, but a shifter boot goes over that so you wouldn't see all that. at that it's finally happening I have a shifter box in my car I just attached the cables there's a bracket that goes in here I believe I have that bracket I gotta find that put that in this sides in right now I'm gonna go on the bottom and put that grommet in that hole plug it up uh, tell you the truth I gotta see if I have the pins that connect these things together I may have them I want to say I do but if not I'll order them it's not like I'm gonna drive the car today. But I'll see if I have those and put those together too.
All right, guys, it's been a few days. I ended up um, ordering the shifter hardware to connect the cables. I didn't have them. I thought I had them, but I did it. But anyway, um, these are connected. It came with the power pin and also the pin that goes through there. Connects that. Um, also came with the bushing and another cotter pin to connect that and then also the um, not sure what it's called some kind of c-clamp or something but put that on there so now everything is secure it also came with the bolts that connect the box to the car um, before I put the automatic bolts in there and since it came with the hardware I figured why not I, I switched them um, they were just a little bit longer than uh, these so I just like I said I just switched them and now it is all connected I cannot wait until everything is done and I get to do the finishing steps and just put the boot over here put the knob on there and just drive the car it's gonna be very exciting but anyway um i also i um i spoke to well i emailed the uh, k-tuner because i was gonna use k-tuner on the car and they said that i can actually use the same ecu that's in this car i can just get it reflashed for a manual car so i think that is pretty cool so I got to get around to taking that out and sending it out to them or I don't know if you send it out to them or you find a local dealer that can do it for you. So I got to find out about that, but got to get that going. Um, also, I'm going to see about the engine harness. I was going to change the engine harness, but now I'm kind of curious to see if the engine harness is still going to work inside. Uh, well, the existing engine harness is still going to work because um, if I can get this ECU reflashed, then maybe I'm thinking that, um, what do you call it? I'm thinking that these the plugs that go into the automatic transmission, they'll just be inactive. So I'm going to test that out. Worst case scenario, I have the harness. I'll just switch it. But I'm just uh, wondering about that. So that's, that's the deal with that. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that's been watching the videos. Everyone that's been sharing the videos and um, subscribing. It means a lot. It really helps me and encourages me to get this car done. Um, I want to get it done, but it's just an extra push and it's uh, very encouraging. I want to say thank you. Um, if you like this video, like and subscribe, share it. Um, and I'll catch you in the next one. All right.